This is gonna be tough for me to get through without crying. I'm already crying. Okay. <laughs> Ryan, I have three things I wanted to thank you for. First, thank you for always being willing to help me figure something out. Um, there's a lot of things about adulting that I didn't know how to do, and you taught me how to do all of them, so I really appreciate that. Second, thank you for supporting me in finding my identity and helping me heal from everything that's happened to me. A lot of you friends and family know that I've been through a lot in my life, and Ryan's just, he's given me that space to heal from it, and I just can't thank you enough for that, Ryan. Third, <laughs> thank you for saving my life. In more ways than one, you have always been there for me as my lighthouse in the storm. I've told you that more than once. You've seen me at my lowest and sat there holding me and telling me that it'll all be okay. You taught me what true love is, and I can never thank you enough for that. I wanted to make three promises to you in front of all our friends and family so that they'll know it forever. First, I promise to never stop working on myself and our relationship, and that includes apologizing first. Second, I promise to always keep running to you so that you're the first person to know how my day went. You're who I go to for advice and support, and so that you know that you're my number one priority and my best friend. Finally, uh, I promise to always go to Taco Bell with you at 1 a.m. <laughs> All jokes aside, um, you know that I believe that it's the little things that really matter and really count. And I promise to keep doing those little things because you're worth it and you always will be. You're perfect for me, Ryan, and I love you forever. So these rings are, are a gift to one another and symbolizes the love and commitment that you have for one another a symbol of faithfulness uh, to one another um, uh, for, the, uh, for all the days of your life, really. Um, so if you'd uh, place the ring. Having witnessed your vows in marriage before God and all who are gathered here today, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I would like to present to you Ryan and Autumn Diatemio. The, the Hebrew word for grace is derived from a word that means uh, showing kindness. That, I, I like to look at that grace, and we know what grace, great being gracious means uh, to one another, but that loving kindness that we uh, can show one another, that's another part of what we bring to the marriage relationship that helps us grow, helps us grow together um, and get us through those challenging times.
from the day I first met you and saw you laugh and heard you singing down there and looked into your eyes, I knew you were the one for me. I would say that I fell in love with you, but um, as I remember, you did the falling. <laughs> <laughs> You always talk about the love that I showed you that day, and the same love I showed you that day is the love that I will show you today, and the same that I promise for every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to hold and protect you, to be your caretaker when you feel sick, to be your guide when you feel lost, for all our days and the days beyond. My place is with you, my home is where you are. I vow to you today before God and our family, that will protect our home, our love, and our family that we build with kindness and compassion through the calm and through the storm, in sickness and in health for as long as we both shall live.